Alan, after all these months, why do you think an investigation is still needed? Hasn't one already been done? Well, John, I think, I think the right question to ask when we begin to look at this issue is, has an acceptable investigation been done? Right. Uh, because everyone agrees that the sin and the dozens of witnesses and victims warrants a proper investigation. And at no time from the beginning of this has a mutually agreed upon investigation taken place. Mm -hmm. In fact, the McNamara report fell way short. At no point were the victims consulted. Mm -hmm. At no point were they asked to agree upon, were we ever able to sit down um, and look at actually who's acceptable in the field. Mm -hmm. You know, this isn't, um, this isn't a mystery of who you choose. There is an acceptable field of experts that conduct these types of investigations. And at no point did IHOP KC actually choose someone who was acceptable and agreed upon. Right. And so the body of Christ has actually asked us to do this. I mean, Dr. Michael Brown was very clear. There needs to be a third party uh, independent investigation. Yeah. It can't represent or try to have uh, litigation mitigation or risk management. That's not, the, that's not what those investigations are for. It's to, so that every victim can be heard yeah. and they deserve no less. And as leaders in the body of Christ, it's been clear from the beginning, the vocal leaders have said, this needs to be done. And it hasn't been done yet. In fact, even after the McNamara report, which was woeful, yeah. And his presentation of the information, right. even what she had was a woeful presentation. Um, new evidence came out right away right. with Tammy Woods that justified there needs to be a, an acceptable mm -hmm. and agreed upon investigation. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think that's the answer to the question right now. Has an acceptable one and agreed upon one been completed? No. Absolutely. And the body of Christ has asked us to do it. Right and we need to follow through. We can, in fact, we can do no less, I think. Right. And it doesn't seem that complicated to get an agreed upon investigator. Like we've, right. we've never been consulted ever. And so even when Stuart was talking with Duane in the beginning, you know, behind the scenes saying, hey, we're going to give you the scope. We're going to show you who we're choosing. You're going to be involved in the whole process. We were, we were hopeful that that was going to happen, but then all of a sudden it gets announced. And so we found out in real time when the world found out in real time. And, and, and it was actually, I, I would say it's worse than that because there was, there's things that have been said that we would only accept right. one organization. Right. And the fact is we gave a list yes. of several organizations that were acceptable and we were not consulted and they were not chosen. Correct. And why it's taken so long? <laughs> well, it's taken so long because we've been hopeful and really trying to get IHOP KC leadership to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. and, and when I say the right thing, it's not like I'm standing up for a moral platitude, although I could. Mm -hmm. Victims need to be heard. It's that the body of Christ has asked us to do this. Every major leader that has come out and spoken on this issue that has clearly said this isn't a local body. This is an international ministry right. whose board and leadership team have not done the correct thing. Right. And so therefore the body of Christ has to step in this. And we're seeing this all over the body of Christ today. I don't even need to make a case for it really. Right. We are seeing boards and eldership teams fail on treating victims not only fairly, but justly and godly. Right. And it's unacceptable. And I think you're seeing that backlash. Mm -hmm. And even now this, this week, as all these things are coming out, we're looking back on the IHOP KC crisis mm -hmm. and going, there's a dereliction of duty. Yeah. It's not okay to rebrand. It's not okay to shift assets. Right. There's only one response before the Father and the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit, and that is to take these allegations serious and that every victim be followed up on. And it has not, but it's going to be done. Yeah. And I think the climate of the body is saying enough is enough. And so the international body of Christ is having to step in mm -hmm. where the local body did not. And so right. that's our goal. Yeah 
is to use, in fact, even one of the investigators that's being used this time, even though they didn't ask us, um, you know, if we agreed, we've already gotten one of the investigators they've already agreed upon. Right. And, and some of our negotiations. So we've really tried to be conciliatory. We've really tried to pull them in. There's been several times I thought we were in agreement and they've walked away or they've changed their mind or they wanted to limit it just to Mike, right. but not the organization. And as someone who led in that organization for nearly 20 years, and you both have led as well, that's unacceptable. Right. For dozens of victims to not be heard, Yeah. No, we all need to be investigated. The prayer movement mm -hmm. and the body of Christ mm -hmm. and IHOP KC cannot move forward with a clean slate right. without us coming clean mm -hmm. and having the outside body look at it and investigate have we handled sexual misconduct correctly. Correct. I want to know that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I will be investigated just as much as anyone. Mm -hmm. I want to know why because I'm going to stand before God one day. Right. And that's more important than a ministry's reputation, or my ministry, anyone's ministry. Yeah, absolutely. Just a practical point in terms of the length, because we're sitting in June 2024, and this thing kind of came out in October 2023, but we've we've been pushing, and we nearly we had we had an investigator we've been pleading. But we had, we had an investigator that was that was going to do it a couple of months ago. That's right. And then actually we were we were pretty far down the the path, and then uh, she kind of dropped out, which was unfortunate. And so it's just taken yep. it's just taken time, and so it's it's just unfortunate that. People have been reaching out, where are you at? And, and there's been a lot of slanderous things said against really good organizations that could have done this quite mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. And we've been trying to work with IHOP KC in spite of slander of these organizations. They could have really done them. Yeah. So we've been trying to work together. And unfortunately, here we are. We were hoping. Yeah. And, and we're still hoping. I mean, there is a there is a small chance they may say yes. And in fact, I would plead with them to please do that. 